my body. My body is a bottle overflowing. Lower left back dully aches like a nagging mosquito. This week, my thighs throbbed because the metro escalator was broken again. I walked down the entire stairway, barely able to reach the next step. There's a twinge in between my shoulder blades that just won't go away. And I have a cold, of course. My sinuses heavy like full rain clouds. This is the complaint sheet of an elderly lady, but I'm in my 20s. I would have overflowed long ago if my body was a bottle. Inspired by Distant, Mary Lou, a photo by Kevin Berry. Indent. Sadness creeps in through the doggy door like someone invited him. Sits in my chest, heavy as the wave that dragged me under when I was five, still learning to swim. I am the mark a painting leaves behind after it's taken off the wall. We started the show with a monologue by Sarah Falkins and a movement piece by Sophia Shire. Oh, but I don't look like that. All right, I look weird. At least my arms aren't as short. <laughs> I mean, I laughed when I first saw this photo. Me? Why? Guess I was raised in the same society as everyone. I'm really happy you're more than a picture. Followed by that was a reggaeton rap by Cookies Robledo. But so we should love ourselves and tell the whole wild world. I don't care what people tell me. I love my own body. And finishing out the performance with an original song by Andrew Brambridge, accompanied by A Dance by Melky Jean Jacques. A child like me deserves to be baptized. So I know I may have looked unfamiliar. I was born with a body different than the norm. I want to thank a lot of people. So I'm going to thank Ben Wojka, Mark Povinelli, the conference committee, Leslie Snyder, um, and all the participants of this photo series, which was David Hill, Mary Lou, Narcado, Michael Lee Godgin, Katie Holmes and my good friends Christy Dutson and Josh Levine who came from New York to help me curate this event and make this happen. Yeah, Rod. Pour water generously over the mound of soil, trim the dead leaves, stroke its sturdy stalk. The other gardeners tell you to leave it be or dig it out, toss it in the garbage. That flower just won't grow, they gossip. You worry the sunflower will hear them, twist into itself. Whisper to your plant, you are short and strong, over and over, so it believes you.